Hi, this is Martin Brennan from Imagineer Systems. Today we're going to be looking at the top five things to look out for when using Mocha in your workflow. We'd like to thank Artbeats for giving us generous use of their excellent footage. Right, let's talk about interlacing. I've never met a person who actually likes working with interlacing, but it's one of those banes of the visual effects industry that everyone has to work with. To check your interlacing in an After Effects project, it's listed here when you select the footage. You will notice that you won't see it in the composition settings. You can also go into your footage settings here by going to interpret footage, main, and the fields and pull down settings are here. In this case you can see it's lower field first. To work with interlacing in Mocha, you pretty much just have to go to your interlace settings when you start a new project and click separate fields. It's very important that you click this now if you know it's interlaced because you won't be able to set this later. You can switch between even and odd when you've set up a new project, but the separation of fields will not be set and you will have to start a project again if you don't click it. From looking at our After Effects project before, we know that the fields are set to lower. In this case, lower is odd. I'm going to show you now quickly what happens if we accidentally set it to be even. When you bring the footage in, it actually doesn't look too bad. It seems to be playing correctly. But if you step through, you'll notice that the frames seem to jump forward and then jump back in this weird sort of stuttery way. This generally means that the field order has been reversed. You can rectify this by going to the clip tab then to interlace and changing the field order here.